Let's start with your reading. All right, Pisces. Let's see. The overall energy we have for you, Pisces, is the Hierophant in reverse with the King of Wands in reverse. Uh, I'm thinking, Pisces, uh, right now, you're in a very non-traditional mode right now, okay? I think you're wanting to take risks. You're wanting to risk with your finances. You're wanting to take a risk. I don't think you want to take orders or, I mean, I'm getting someone who wants to be their own boss. Okay, this is for some people or could be for anyone, okay? I'm getting someone who wants to be their own boss, okay? Someone who wants to, you know, um, do things differently. You don't really want to follow the rule book right now, okay? More like you want to go against the grain, like a rebel. It could even be that maybe you're wanting to question the advice of your peers when it comes to your finances. Again, you don't want to follow the status quo. You don't want to do what has been done all this while. You may have this itch, you know, to take risk and try new ways of earning your money, all right? Which is absolutely fine. Whether that means working on a side project in your side time, in your spare time, or learning about cryptocurrency, anything, okay? You're doing well, but just make sure that you remain responsible and realistic about what kind of risks you're willing to take, okay, and what you're willing to lose. When I clarify this, we have the King of Wands in reverse. So what I'm getting is, yes, agreed. You want to take risk, okay? You want to do things differently. Sure, no problem. But what is the problem here is that with the King of Wands in reverse, I feel you're still not taking action. There is this lack of action and someone who is being reactive and waiting for things to fall into your lap, okay? I mean, that's very unreasonable, all right, Pisces? If you're expecting the universe to give you success and just, you know, put it in your lap, that's not going to work out. You're going to have to take charge of your finances and instead of hoping for luck to come your way, you're going to have to be more preactive, proactive in seeking out economic opportunities, okay? Grab opportunities. You can do things your way, sure, but... You can command your finances in a number of ways, okay? So try doing that. Ask for a raise, budget your spending, you know, whatever, right? Whatever makes sense to you in your position is likely the best. But yes, it's always you're trying to take the easier way out is what I'm getting because it's easier to wait and hope that money falls into your lap. But that's not how it really works, okay? So take a more productive approach and try defining the steps towards your goals okay you have the ability to realize your financial dreams okay you just need to work for them all right so yeah that's your overall energy pisces okay sorry just have a little ocd there please okay let's see what happens in the past In the past, we have the Five of Wands with the Six of Wands. So this is definitely telling me, Pisces, that in the past year, you could have been facing a lot of financial instability, a lot of conflicts when it came to your money, okay? Again, you might be going through a time of financial instability in the past. Uh, I mean, because with the five years, that's definitely what it says. But whatever, it was temporary. I think I think you battled your way out of it. I mean, this battle could be in the form of needing to work particularly hard or just exerting significant effort to control your financial state, all right? Um, I think your current, your state that time was imbalanced, okay? Probably you were going through a, a lot of arguments with your money or whatever, right? The arguments could either be with someone you love or with a stranger or someone who's, I mean, as low as a clerk or a shop assistant, whatever, right? Even like probably simple tasks such as making a return, or, you know, just getting reimbursements was stressful, you know, and with involved with a lot of disputes. But with the six of wands here, what I like is that, you know what, that you uh, got out of it. Okay. Thanks to your dedication, your perseverance in times of trouble, you got out of that and you got into your moment of peace and you got your financial stability. Okay. I think you got out of it and you finally got yourself into a solid financial position. Okay. You fought the odds. So cool. I mean, almost like I think people appreciated your hard work about how you got yourself out of that, okay? And you put yourself in people's eyes where they literally value you, okay? You probably were wanting to indulge, but you indulged in moderation, okay, financially, even if you wanted to um, 
enjoy your money or enjoy that uh, fruits of your labor okay i think you were enjoying it but you were doing it in moderation okay however i think with the six of wands here yes it does come with a little bit of arrogance and overconfidence but i think you were good okay so yeah i think you embraced your success which is really cool let's see the current situation For the current situation, we have the Eight of Pentacles with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. I'm thinking, Pisces, that I mean, your financial your position it looks good. Okay, I'm, I'm I'm getting it looks good. Financial rewards. You're becoming financially independent. You may be looking at financial rewards for your dedication and your commitment to your field. Okay, could be a promotion. That's an indication. Okay, or more business. Okay, if you're just self-employed. You're working really, really hard. I think you've been very careful with your finances and you're slowly becoming more financially independent also. Okay. Yes, when you enjoy your success, I think you do have memories of how difficult things were with the five of wands here in the past. Okay. But I think you're, you, you, you're right now, you need to, or you are, you need to give yourself a pat on the back, okay? And let those thoughts only motivate you and let them be an experience, a learning experience, all right? No regret. However, I see the wheel of fortune in reverse, right? Uh, I'm getting that either you are or you will be going through a lot of unexpected and unwelcoming events, okay? You're not going to be prepared for it. So see to it, this is a warning sign, okay? Something's going to either not go in your favor or luck, you're going to feel like luck is not on your side or the universe is not on your side, okay? Whatever. But the wheel of fortune in reverse is always, 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 always to me a delay, either because you're not learning your lessons, A, eh? Or because there is something that needs to run its, run its course, okay? Something very karmic. Um, whatever this is, don't try to push this power, okay? Don't try to stop it. Let it run its course, okay? Because this will run its course regardless. Either you're trying to be angry at your situation, okay? But something needs to, you know, something needs to uh, finish its is what I'm getting. I feel with the Eight of Pentacles, you're putting in a lot of effort, okay? You wanted to find that uh, financial stability, which you already are, okay? You keep doing you, but again here, okay? I feel that um, maybe if you have an emergency fund to back you up, that would be great. But yeah, there are chances that things can have, take a turn for the worst, all right? Whatever it is, I feel it's very, very temporary, okay? I mean, the world is constantly changing, right? I mean, I understand you're not ready for it. But again, the, world, the Wheel of Fortune refers to me is a blessing in disguise, okay? It's like something's just not, um, it just doesn't have to happen right now. Something's just not fated to happen right now. And that's why there is a lot of stagnancy within your um, situation, whether you're self-employed or whether you're a job, okay? But with Eight of Pentacles, I see you very, very focused. You're not giving up. You're still very focused, mastering your craft. I like that very much. So just be careful about these unexpected events, okay? They're coming around. So just be prepared for it. Since it's coming into the current situation, like I said, either you are going through this or you will be going to. You're the best person you know where you are in your timeline. Um, all right. Now, let's see the root of the issue, okay? Or the reason for the reading. The root of the issue is the Nine of Swords here. Hmm. Pisces, you're stressing out for no reason. So what I think is financially, you may be under a lot of pressure, okay? Again, because with the wheel of fortune in reverse, right? Things are just taking a turn for the worst, okay? So yeah, financially, you may be under a lot of pressure and stress. The suffering you're feeling is real, granted, okay? But this is pointing towards more towards anxiety and worries that are coming from you, that exaggerating situation, Okay? You're not looking at things realistically, okay? You're exaggerating it more in your head. Again, I'm hearing making mountains out of molehills, okay? In this case, if this is the case, your panic is more from your negative thinking, okay? It could be helpful if you want to try and get an outsider's perspective to give you advice on what you can do, okay? But Pisces, getting your negative thinking under your control, I mean, it's very important, Okay? You need to understand jelly bean. Is it really that bad or can you solve it? However, with the chariot here, this is so awesome. I feel, guess what, you know? I mean, um, I think that you're going to move forward 
Okay. And the answer to can you solve this or is it really bad? I think the answer is yes, you can solve this. Okay. And you are. With any financial obstacles that have stood in your way, right? Or any material instability, I think you're going to deal with them. With the chatter here, you're moving forward. Okay. You got the motivation, you got that mojo, you got the focus, you got the determination. You're not letting anything stop you. Okay. You're going to conquer your, those challenges. Okay. Because you have a lot of self discipline and you're going to be able to feel comfortable within your financial situation very soon. Very soon. Okay. You're the shit, Pisces. You got this ball rolling. So, yeah. The ball is in your court, all right? And with the chair right here, it's all in your hands. You're going for it. You're going to be like, I don't care. But just with the nine of swords, yeah, this is a very contradicting energy, okay? Swords are thoughts. This is action. I think you're taking action, but again, you're taking this with you. So just be very careful about that. Your worries, anxieties, yes, they could be real to a certain to a certain extent, but they're not as bad as you think they are, okay? It's all solvable, all right? It's the thing that you're creating the thoughts and scenarios in your head, which is creating a ripple. It's it's creating a negative spiral, okay? So stop it right now, okay? The nine of swords is also an energy where you're um, almost like your thoughts. The more negative thoughts you have, right, there are chances that this will um, spiral down and things will get into reality. You will manifest this into reality. So just be very careful about that. What you will experience in the near future if things go on like this? Hmm. All right. So we do have the moon with the Ten of Cups here. I like this, Pisces. I like this very, very much. What I'm getting is, Pisces, with here is that there's going to be family stability and harmony. Okay, you may probably find out that you and your loved ones, you guys, you guys have everything that you feel, uh, everything that you need to feel happy and comfortable. Okay. Um. So, Ten of Cups, it's not really a card that always translates to wealth. Okay, but the knowledge that there is there to have this feeling of stability and security. Okay. Again, if you've had previously, you've had fights with family over financial issues. I mean, I see them all disappearing. But however, I'm getting this confusion and uncertainty that you have in your head. Okay. Um, I'm getting Pisces that this may not right yet be the right time to make any big financial decisions. Okay. Because I feel that still, I know, you're emotionally very, very happy. But remember, this is the Ten of Cups here. This is all emotions, okay? This is not the Ten of Pentacles where you have so much money. You have more than enough. You're spending more than you're earning. I mean, you're earning more than you're spending. Whatever. You understand what I'm saying, right? So, yeah, this is more to do with emotions, okay? You're just feeling good about yourself. Again, a lot of emotional fulfillment. You're being able to spend on your family, etc. Yes, but this is not the card of wealth. Exactly, okay? This is not how I would interpret it. So, yeah, again, if you're trying to make any big decisions, hold back. I feel you still don't have all the information available to you or the information is very incomplete. If you're in progress of any taking any financial action, just take a little deep in, okay? Because in the moon here, again, this is the card of fear. But again, it's also the card of unknown, confusion, uncertainty, fear of what you don't know, all right? So don't be afraid to dig deep and ask questions, okay? So you can make the best decision possible. I'm also getting you could be a little overly paranoid because you have fears and anxiety, okay, about the Ten of Cups. You know, sometimes what happens is that happiness comes in after a very long time and we don't really trust it. Like, is it going to stay longer? What's going on? I mean, I, I need to, someone needs to pinch me, right? Like, is this really too good to be true? You know, but I think Pisces for the moon here, you need to trust your instincts, okay? If it feels like it's too good to be true, Believe me, it probably is. Okay, these are all illusions with the moon here. The, but the moon card always comes in with illusions. Okay, so this is all a part of your negative thinking. Again, nine of swords, you're still carrying it off in the near future. You need to stop that. It's all a part of your illusions. None of this is true. None of it is true. Okay. I think it's more of the latter part rather than you, uh, rather than the first thing that I said. It could be for a very few people of you about making big financial decisions or confusion, uncertainty around your finances could be. But I'm getting more like, you know what, with the moon here, you're still worried. You still have that fear, okay? So let that fear go. Trust your inst instincts, okay? You're good. You're doing good. All right. Let's see your best potential outcome, Pisces. Nice. So Pisces, your best potential outcome, we have the world with the Ace of Swords. 
So I'm feeling Pisces that you may have worked really, really hard in order to reach your financial goals. Okay, you're working hard over there, okay? And you're finally going to reach to that point where you're going to enjoy the fruits of your labor, okay? You've probably paid off some debt or you've just found security after saving or you probably have made that large purchase that you saved up for, okay? Whatever. You need to give yourself a pat on the back and just be proud of whatever you've accomplished, okay, with the world here. You're probably even thinking about long-term goals now. But when the world comes in, it represents a feeling of wholeness, okay? So yeah, you're probably taking out some time to understand how your finances fit into the bigger picture of your life. However, however, with the Ace of Swords here, either you need to or you already are, okay? You will need to think very, very rationally with Ace of Swords here, okay? When it comes to your money, your heart and your head can say very, very different things, okay, with Ace of Swords here. Again, this is a feeling of wholeness, right? It's like you're so happy. You've almost reached a goal. You could have reached a milestone in your business, okay, or with your job. Maybe there's a particular job or maybe there's a particular uh, amount of money that you're looking for and you've reached that, right? But again, with the Ace of Swords here, you need to take things very, very rationally and logically, okay? You could be very, very uh, torn between your heart and your head, okay, about something. Again, but this card is telling you to trust your brain. Don't make emotional decisions. Should a friend or family ask you for money or look for a loan, just approach the situation with your mind first. Okay, just ask yourself, do you have enough? Will you be paid back? Or um, how will your money affect your relationship with that person, etc.? Okay. I mean, I totally get it. Rejecting a rational approach, it may make you feel better, right? But it can cost you a great, uh, greatly in the long run. So the Ace of Swords here, right? I mean, I think it's more like reaching a milestone and whatever you're doing, right? You're using your head. You don't even need this advice probably, but with the Ace of Swords here, I think you're getting a breakthrough. Okay, something's just moving forward amazingly. And with the world here, you've reached a milestone. Congratulations, Pisces. That looks really, really good. Really, really good. So that's what I have for you, Pisces. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe. That'd be really cool. And I will see you next time.